And welcome back. We're flying out the premium A4E for Israel, which is currently the only vehicle that you can grind the entire tech tree with. My opinion, wait for something else if you are looking to be an Era B player. For Ground B, this thing is of course great, but you have plenty of A4s in the tech tree that you will not have to buy. So, my advice to the Air players, get something else, or rather, wait for something else. Because right now, there's not much to get for you guys. And for the Ground B players, it's only two vehicles right now. So... It's a bit pick and choose, but for everyone that actually wants to see how to fly this thing, and this also applies to the A3 early that you have in the American tech tree. The main problem is going to be basically everything, because you just bleed a lot of speed. You have decent acceleration, you don't have the best top end speed, and you don't actually turn that well. But you bleed so much speed that you very likely are going to cut inside of people's turns. And when you face people like this, SU-7, as well as F-105s, Yak-38s, and all those annoying planes, they just run you down, they bleed you of all your energy, and then you get to a party. It does have flares, which are definitely useful. But at 8.7, you are going to be up here to MiG-19s and stuff very often. It's about a 50-50 split for me at the moment. So you want to be aware of that. And the second I see a full up tier, sometimes I'll actually opt to just ground pound and get some RP in that way. Because fighting against SU-7s that don't fly like this and actually try to dogfight you, which is pretty fun to do. It's just a pain in the ass. So I prefer to just uh, try to get down tiers, but of course there's no real way to do that. Today's footage will be 7 kill game as well as a 3 or 4, I don't know how many I got at the end. But it's mostly about the dogfights and picking your fights. And seeing how this thing stacks up against the various amount of 8.7 and 9.0 planes. I'm not going to be showcasing you how to kill supersonics. Because it comes basically down to them not paying attention, them trying to take the dogfight and still taking very poor strategical uh, decisions. At the end of the day, it's going to be mainly tilt partying and head-ons if they decide not to dodge. And of course the occasional one that tries to dogfight you. And there's not much to get out of that. It's a very simple, you try to be a rat and you try to take them uh, off guard. So instead of that, I will show you some gameplay versus Sabres, F9Fs, G91s, bombers and everything in between. So we start off, we put it into a little bit of a climb because I want to use the air spawn but I don't want to go too slow. But at this very moment I see a B57 and I get a little bit greedy because I'm trying to grind this thing. This is the second match I played in this thing. The first one is the one you saw just before it, the one on the, the green map, forgot the name of it, but I killed the SU7. This is the second game I played in the thing and I crit the B57 course unlucky but he's gonna be dying to someone else relatively soon here and I want to put again all the speed that I have into a little bit of altitude because I know that the enemy has to take off this has been an, uh, a down tier at least a little bit of a medium kind of tier 9.0 to 8.0 and I see an F9F not much around just yet but the dots are starting to pop in so I want to be a little bit aware F9F is not really paying attention and this is the strength of the air spawn shoot a few rounds and down he goes Problem is now I'm spotted because that guy is AFK, his camera is 100% pointed forward. So now I get a decent chunk of enemies going for me. And I see a missile coming for me from the F9F, it means it's an F9F8 and that's something I want to keep in the back of my mind. Because that means I won't be able to stall him out. Or at least not very reliably. Of course I do have flares and they make my life a lot easier. But they aren't foolproof and sometimes they will still screw you over. So the way I like to fly this thing is because the speed bleed and the turn are definitely the biggest handicaps it's a delta and it doesn't have the biggest wings so you are just kind of looking at bleeding speed while not turning very well and that's a horrible combination so what i like to do is try to keep my altitude a little bit try to stay above people and that way if they try to go for me they will bleed speed before the engagement even starts and then my speed bleed is a little bit mitigated it's still pretty bad and if they have a lot of energy on you and they try to pitch up you are still gonna have a little bit of a tough time but it the completely depends on what you're fighting and I see the F9F here and what I did there was I tried to pull a little bit to the left so I could get right behind him and here we go so we don't have much of a side aspect I'm still two kilometers away and I see that he starts diving in is he gonna dive in for someone or is he just gonna dive into the middle of the map looks like he's diving into the middle of the map so I'm going to guess that he's looking straight forward and he's not paying attention luckily that's exactly what happened and down he goes Short Fuse 26 has a little bit of a short fuse, so he starts ranting in chat. Doesn't matter, in the end of the day, you are in the ground. Going for the next target. A4E clearly occupied with the MiG-17, so I'm going to shoot a missile at him as well. He is clearly trying to aim. He's trying to fly straight. 
and he's not looking behind him. The easiest way to shoot someone down is by shooting someone down that's trying to shoot someone else down. They are very likely to be looking forward and they are very likely to not pay attention to whatever happens behind them. MiG-17 is on the A4E here and I want to engage the football together with the MiG-17. So I want to kill this A4E as quickly as I can. MiG-17 gets a kill, that's completely fine too. MiG-17 turns in, he's going to be distracting them a little bit and then I can come in second row. I don't want the furball in this thing and that's why I will try to clear everything on the outside perimeter first. Try to get as many people of my team in the middle of the furball and then I can start coming in in the second row. Go ahead on with the F-35, manage to miss the shot. Not a big deal, I'm much faster at this point and he has to do a full 180. F-10F is dogfighting with the Brugen. Or the Mystia, I'm not sure what it is, he's very slow, so I'm going to help him out. And down he goes as well. Now we have an F2H as well as an F35, and both of those vehicles are something I don't really enjoy fighting. F2H is definitely the lesser of the threat. Managed to underlead a little bit on the shot over there, and we miss. Mystia goes into the ground, and now I'm against an F35 as well as an F2H, but I'm going much faster than the F2. And the F2H is also not very fast and he's flying the opposite direction. So I, what I want to do right now is start putting it into a little bit of a climb. I have much more energy here. I'm a lot faster and I'm starting to gain a lot of altitude. And the F25 is not going to be able to keep up with this. I'm also trying to, in the meantime, get some separation between the F2H and the f Sable, So that if I get the kill on the f Sable, I have plenty of time to then reset, regain a little bit of speed. Maybe just run away altogether to kill the F2H. F2H breaks off and he starts going for not sure what, he's going in the direction of my airfield. And now we are at roughly 600 kilometers an hour, we are at almost 4 kilometers and the F Saber is not going to make this zoom climb. So I put it into a little bit of a dive, I'm trying to turn into him a little bit, so he has to turn while climbing. Pulling while climbing will absolutely kill your speed and I'm trying to get this guy at his lower speeds. Because the Saber at low speed doesn't have the best acceleration, so we go up over his nose. We go straight up, and even though my speed bleed is pretty bad, I'm going to end up right on top of him, right above him. And even though I turn worse, even though my speed bleed is worse, at the end of the day, the position that I have here is going to be the end of him. I'm right on top of him, I'm almost one and a half kilometers above him, and he is going to try to pitch back up. What he should have done here is just try to dive away, because he fell into my energy trap, and he actually stuck it. He's trying to pitch back up here, and the thing is, if I do miss that shot, I'm actually likely dead. And that's just the way this plane flies, and that's just the amount of energy that it bleeds, that even if you are in a very great position, and it will showcase you that in the second versus the F2H, you can screw yourself over extremely quickly with one or two bad moves. And I will show you that in a second here with the F2H, because he actually flew it kind of right, not perfectly, but he did the right things. And he's got to be actually a bit of a threat. And I'm going to be messing up a little bit here. Because I got one impatient. And two, I want to get the kill before my teammates arrive. Which is a little bit greedy, I know. But I'm also grinding just like they are. So, I do the same thing as with the Sabre, basically. I try to stay above him. I'm putting it into a little bit of a sideways climb. So if he tries to pitch up, he has to pitch up after me while also turning. Which is a very bad combination. He doesn't follow it. He keeps going straight, which is the right call. And now I can just try to slot in on a 6. And at this point I'm thinking he's probably going to fly straight. So he's going to try to do something. But no. He cuts, um, cuts into my turn. Which is again the right thing to do. And I'm going to be pitching up over him. He's not going very fast. He's again lower than us. And I'm going to be engaging his turn right here. And I feel like I can get the shot here. Getting a little bit impatient. Because I don't want that A4E to come in. So I drop in. Get a pretty easy shot. Managed to blow it and now I'm forced to take this fight because if I don't I am going to die. And I shouldn't have tried to take the shot there. I should have done that little loop thing one or two more times. But now I'm stuck in the dogfight because of that shot. It was going to be too close on me and I'm going to bleed too much speed trying to run away. So I'm, at this point I'm trying to bleed my speed, trying to get out of his guns. And trying to make sure that I'm going slower than him again just so he overshoots. And normally maintaining your energy is a better idea. But for an F2H it doesn't turn that great. And his main strength will be the energy retention. I'm going to try to... Use that to his disadvantage. I'm on the 6 now and he's trying to pull up. Luckily for us he pulls back in here and I managed to get the shot in. And down goes the F2H. That's a fight I probably should have lost if he hadn't turned back into my guns. I messed up a little bit. I got a little bit greedy. But the second part of being a little bit greedy is I had a teammate right next to me. And I did the same thing in the game I'm going to show you after this one. And that's simply just the plane 
if you don't come into a fight with a lot of energy and you don't take the right exit line chances are you have to dodge him trying to pull in onto your six and you're gonna bleed so much speed that you won't actually outrun him anymore defensively this plane is pretty strong you have an insanely good roll rate but do be aware that you might rip your wings off 180k silver lions 27,000 rp and that's all without boosters just a premium account as well as this vehicle of course seven air kills which is a good chunk but the game wasn't that long mig 15 trying to pitch up for us not a big deal i'm going much faster than him going 900 kilometers an hour and he doesn't have missiles so i can just kind of put it into this little bit of a climb maybe drop back on top of him and otherwise maybe i can try to stall him out for a teammate i'm in here very far forward i'm spearheading the team trying to get as much attention as possible because at the start of the game you can do that the longer the game progresses the worse this plane becomes because all of the energy that you store up can be thrown away very quickly making basically all the time in the game wasted versus something like a mig 15 which accelerates well basically as good as you do if not a little bit better which also holds the speed very well which also turns a lot better the longer the game progresses versus a plane like that the more of an advantage they will start building up and it's the same for something like a g91 they're not as dangerous they're very annoying however because they have that roll rate to get out of the way and they do have that just that squirmy characteristic where they kind of flop around and now i'm just trying to pick a target nick 15 is right below me but if i go for him i will probably lose a lot of speed and i'm hoping that he's not actually paying attention to me anymore and if he is i will push him down a little bit lower to the deck and then i can go for the g91 luckily that's exactly what he does he tries to split ass i don't follow he breaks it off but that's a lot of energy wasted on his end and there's a teammate now on on his six that's going to prevent him from really doing anything to me so I'm going to be putting it again up into a climb. I forget about the guy right in front of me because he's not the main priority. A3 on my 6 breaks off. And there comes the G91. He's in a very bad spot here. He shouldn't be pitching up here. But again it's a G91. I'm in an A4 re and he can easily kill me if I mess this up. So I want to stay horizontal. I don't want to go vertical. I don't want to stall myself out because then he starts closing the gap. I'd rather just quote unquote rain fight. Just kind of flat turn him down low. He tried to stick on it. He is not going to be able to get the guns in on me here. He simply does not have the speed. He's basically stalling out. He managed to miss the shot. Which is very unfortunate. But that's not a very big deal. Because I do have all the speed in the world. To get away from this guy. And I have flares. So I'm not really worried about having to dodge missiles. So I'm not really worried about losing a lot of speed either. I'm just pre-flaring at the moment. But I'm going head on with the G91. He is busy shooting a missile. And again if someone is busy shooting at someone else. They're probably not paying attention to the rest the other guy on my six gets taken down because he's also trying to shoot me down so that's how we are going to win this game by a little bit of teamwork even though we are in inferior planes with some good spacing and good target prioritization we can still try to win it and here we go again i'm not gonna turn at all i'm just gonna be putting into a very slight climb I'm gonna go sideways he has to do a full 270 degree turn here in order to catch me and then he's going slower than me. So I can now put it into a little bit of a climb again. Now we can start turning. Because at lower speeds you don't bleed as much speed. Crazy how that works. But you don't have much to bleed off in the first place. So he's going to be trying to pitch up for us here. In a little bit. For now he's trying to fly away. He's trying to keep his speed up. Instead of falling for the energy trap. Which is perfectly viable. But he is going to be turning into us. Very very soon here. So we do the same thing again. We fly into the direction he was coming from. And if he tries to pitch up after us. He again had to do a full 180. I see the other a 4 coming in. So I kind of say no. Because I, I kind of wanted to kill. I wanted to show you how you can energy trap this guy. And that's exactly what we do here. He is basically stalled out. I see that he's going to try to dive out to get some speed back up. And I'm going to use that opportunity right here. To instantly go for him. He notices that I'm going back on him. He tries to turn back in. But at this point he is way too slow. And we get on the 6. I'm not really worried about sticking on this guy's 6 right now. Because it does take him quite a significant amount of time to get, the, get him off me. And that's just simply because I lose so much speed. And down he goes. And now we have a little bit of a problem. Because there's another G91 coming in. I'm not sure which one it is. I just know it's the German one. And I hope he has 4 missiles on. Because if he doesn't, I'm going to be in a little bit of a predicament here. Because I'm only going 700 kilometers an hour. I'm hoping that he is going to go for the other way for he. He is not. And now I'm stuck in this dogfight because if I try to run away he will catch me 
if I try to do anything, he will kill me. So I'm forced to take the dogfight. I'm going to try to stall this guy for as long as I can. I'm going to be trying to stay on a 6. I'm trying to stay as slow as I can without bleeding all my energy. So I'm just going to be very aggressive here because I'm on the clock. The longer this fight takes, the worse I'm going to be off. So I'm going to be trying to get the shot in here. Don't manage to get it. He just rolls out of the way in the correct time. And this guy was flying it right. He didn't capitalize off my energy problems as much as he could have. But he's taking the right lines. He's preventing me from pulling lead. He's preventing me from getting a shot in at all. And I'm just trying to delay here. I'm trying to stay alive as long as I can. Because that's going to be the most help to my team. And I have some hope that that guy on the back there, Ransom, is going to come back in here. Drop some flaps. Trying to get a little bit of extra turn in. Don't overuse them, however. Because the more you use the flaps, the quicker you're going to be out of energy. And I'm trying to use them here and there to get a shot in. But very often you're not able to do it. And you can tell right here is when he starts reversing me. Because I'm going to be almost in front of him right here. We are right on top of each other. It's basically equal. And the next turn he will start ending up on my six. And he's not flat turning. He's not doing anything. He is simply trying to scissor with me. While also using his power advance. Because I cannot follow these. I need to start dodging his guns here for the first time. Not a very good angle on, on his end. But next angle will be even better. And every time, every rotation we do this, we are going to be closer and closer to dying. And I'm too slow now to, to break off as well. And again, here it comes. Just a little bit of a better angle. Roll up over his nose. I try to stall him out here. I'm going to be trying to pull up into his gun. And he gets killed. Just fantastic. And that's all I have for you today. Not much of a carry plane. Not much of a great air-to-air -air fighter. But... Sometimes it makes for some better footage because you are a little bit handicapped. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.